very warm welcome once more to Trinity Mance. I'm going to read you now the set gospel reading for the sixth Sunday of Easter. I'm reading from John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live in you. You also will live. On that day you will know that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. On this sixth Sunday of Easter, our Gospel reading, the one in which we have just shared, is known as a farewell discourse. Jesus' final teachings to his disciples on the occasion of the Last Supper. Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. This can be read as a reminder to us all of the covenant relationship we are all called into. When the story of the Ten Commandments is told in godly play, we use this wooden heart-shaped box. The heart shape is a visual reminder that God's laws are indeed rooted and grounded in love. In our Gospel reading, Jesus will soon leave his disciples but he's certainly not going to leave them loveless. For in his very next breath, Jesus promises the gift of the Advocate, or the Helper, or Parcelet, who is the very Spirit of God living within us. We should perhaps not be too surprised that God's all-embracing Spirit has many names. Personally, I'm very drawn to Tyndale's translation here, where this new helper is de described simply as the comforter. Currently, because of COVID-19 pandemic, the world is in much need of comfort. We may not be able to meet physically in church, but via our websites, posts and phone calls, we can express something of the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit by offering comfort to others. People right now may be feeling very much out on a limb, robbed of normal routines, grieving much of what, until recently, we all took for granted. Jesus, in this farewell discourse, is preparing his disciples for a new world. A world in which his physical body will no longer be present. But there will remain a deeply rooted relationship, a bit in a very different format. Lockdown feels like a very different format. And although this week some rules have been made more flexible, we are still living without physicality. In John chapter 14, Jesus prepares his disciples for the day when he will no longer physically be able to touch them or be among them. Though we cannot physically meet for worship together as yet, this we can all know. 
we can know and experience firsthand the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, who is the Comforter. The Comforter is not bound to any building. God's Holy Spirit, by its very nature, is spread abroad. We may feel bereft of many things at the moment, including our church life. But Jesus has said in this passage from John's Gospel, I will not leave you orphaned. Our set reading from the Acts of the Apostles this Sunday reminds us that God does not live in shrines made by human hands. Here, Paul, preaching in Athens, is very keen to point out two key principles of our Christian faith. One, that God is the God of all nations and the God of all people. And secondly, that God is not far from any one of us. To quote Paul, in him we live and move and have our being. Jesus begins and ends this farewell discourse in John's Gospel by referring to the commandments. And what is the golden rule of all commandments? To love God and to love our neighbours. Let us embody the work of the Holy Spirit by continuing to offer much needed comfort. Comfort to one another, comfort to our community and comfort to the wider world. In this Christian Aid Week, we have opportunity to give to our brothers and sisters who live far away and who bear, bear the added burden of poverty and suffer most at the hands of this pandemic. Let us be generous in our time and in our giving. Let us learn from Christ's example at the Last Supper, who, facing the cross, did not neglect to comfort those around him. Finally, our set psalm for this Sunday is Psalm 31, in which the psalmist, thought to be King David, talks of God being a refuge, a fortress and a rock. I close now using the words from Singing the Faith, number 628, written by Brian Dorkerson. Faithful one, so unchanging. Ageless one, you're my rock of peace. Lord of all, I depend on you. I call out to you again and again. I call out to you again and again. You are my rock in times of trouble. You lift me up when I fall down. All through the storm, your love is the anchor. My hope is in you alone. In the comfort we give to others, we offer them stability. We point to our God who is the faithful one, who is the rock, the fortress, who is our strength. Amen.